So you are a supplier or brand owner who is tasked with RFID tagging items. Where do you begin? This series will help you get started. Let's begin. What is RFID? RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. An RFID solution will have RFID tags that are placed on products, an RFID reader, and a system to record the data. RFID tags typically have an icon on them and contain a chip and antenna in an inlay. The inlay is the thin material holding the working components of the tag and is typically sandwiched in the label or hang tag with the UPC printed on it. The tag antenna receives energy from a reader, powers up the chip, which then transmits a unique identity called an EPC or electronic product code back to the reader. The reader data is then recorded in a system. This communication does not require line of sight. So for example, you can read RFID tags that are in boxes or behind walls. This communication is fast. A carton with RFID tagged items can be read on a conveyor, or a handheld device can be used to cycle count hundreds of items per minute. Okay, so what is RFID good for? Well, there are a host of uses, but most retailers begin with using RFID to improve inventory accuracy. This unlocks a host of in-store benefits, such as reducing out of stock, out of shelf, improving display compliance, and enabling omni-channel fulfillment. This also benefits the supply chain, providing factories and distribution centers with the ability to automate their scan pack processes, improve shipment accuracy, automate inspection, and claims compliance processes. They can also track gray market items and so on. Great, so what part does the factory play? The key to having an efficient RFID solution is to tag items at the source of manufacturing. This ensures that the tags are properly placed and use of the tags can be leveraged from the start. Oftentimes, the RFID tag is integrated into the existing UPC label. Next, we'll go deeper in understanding the key points regarding RFID tags. 